Hi, this is Tim with TM Media, and I'm going to show you Traffic Light. Traffic Light is a web based project management system, so there's nothing to download, and you can use it either on a Mac or a PC. So to show you how to use this, I'm just going to jump in here and you'll you'll get the get the idea of how easy this is to use. So I'm just going to click on add project. And we'll put in bubble gum ink. We'll just say where to do a web design for them. And I'm going to assign it to myself. Now you notice these will auto populate while you're typing them um, because they're already in the database. And I'll show you that in a sec. As far as commenting, you can add a, a beginning comment on this, but I'm going to leave that out of it for now. I'll show you that in a second. I will st start create a start date for it and I will create an end date for the project and we'll hit save and here's your new project now let me show you how the commenting feature works let's just say testing comment one okay so th there's a new comment and let's do another one let's just say testing again now you notice the comment the previous comment is gone and the latest one is visible. Now those comments are somewhere and I'll show you that in a second. And just keep in mind also this isn't just for me to comment. This is a way to engage with your other users. So if I have my web designer that needs to make a comment, I'll see his comments. So it's basically a really good social networking tool for project management. So let's see let's see what this does up here. This is a um, this is a time log. If you have to do any time tracking, you have to log any hours, this is the place to do it. Let's say we log 6.5 hours on a project. We'll log it, you'll see the 6.5 hours down here. Let's say we worked another eight, and you'll see it totaling down here. Now I'm gonna click on this button. This, is, this, this button is the expand mode, and I think this is probably the neatest feature of this whole program. So I'm going to click on this, and now we're in an expanded, more detailed view of the project. And we also have other functions that we now can do on the project. We can comment like we did before in compact mode, um, and we can put more time, we can log more time. We can also delete the time logs we've, we've created. I just deleted that one. And we can see our other comments. So let me add in just another comment to show you what happens. Uh, testing comment feature in expanded mode. <clears throat> okay, now you'll see the other comment. So the the new latest comment appears in the in the top view, and then the previous comments just uh, collect down here. You can also, in expanded mode, you can also add a task. Let's say we need a outline of the website. And I can mark it complete when I'm done with it. I can mark it delete. Or I can, let's just say I'm going to mark it complete. So it just puts a line through it. And so that's basically the basic functions of the add task. It's fairly simple. Now let's say I want to upload a file to share with my users and my clients. I'm going to upload a file. Just do a screenshot of Traffic Light. Now we have a file. Anybody accessing this as a user can download the file from here or uh, and they can also um, share the file. So I'm going to I'm going to show you the share feature. If I click on the checkbox and I hit share, it'll immediately go to whoever's email is here. So if the client, this is the client's email, I hit share, it immediately goes to their email. There's no copy paste, there's no clipboard to, to paste to an email, there's none of that. You hit share, it immediately goes to that email. So it's a really neat feature. Here you can add users. And I've already added one user, and I don't have any other users in the database. So I would that would that basically how it would come up once you have a few users in the database. 
And I'll show you that. I'll show you how to add a user to the, to the database in a second. So let's go back to compact mode. Now I'm going to show you what the deal is with this light. The traffic light is just to give you an idea of what's going on with the project without going into full detail and reading all the comments of what's going on. So let's say this, this project's a go, I would hit green. Everything's a go, we're not waiting for files, we're not waiting for anything, there's nothing wrong with the project. Let's say the project's on hold, the client decided to stop it for whatever reason, we hit red. Now let's say we need to make sure we have, we have to pay special attention to this project. I'm going to click yellow to signify uh, th th there's something needs to be done here. Now if we want to even escalate that further, click on the yellow again and it blinks. So now if you have something very immediate that needs to happen with this project, you're really not going to miss it with this blinking yellow light. Now those are pretty much that's how we uh, on the outset of how we figured we'd use the traffic light, but the rules of how to use this is up to you. I, some people told me they would use red light to show that it's complete, or in in green light for something else. It, it's it, it's very it's totally up to you as long as your your other uh, colleagues know what you what you're uh, defining red light for. Uh, that's all you need to know. But you can use it any way you'd like. So let me show you the other features here. I'm going to show you the overview panel. Now, this is a way to filter out different projects as far as what you want to look at. Once you get a few projects in here, you, you don't want to scroll through all of them. So let's say you want to just see what happened today. This is, this is some of the stuff I edited today. So I'm going to click on this X to go back to full view. And you can also filter by what you did yesterday, seven last seven days, what, what, what changed on the project, basically. You can also filter it by client. If I wanted to find out how many projects we have under Bubblegum Inc., we can see that. And you can also can filter it by user. If I want to see how many projects Timothy Kim is on, I'll click that. And I'll see how many project he's on. Now, there's also other fil filter. Uh, there's also another way to filter it is just going through the client list. Um, this button here does the same exact thing that you just showed you by filtering client. We just added that extra feature. So if you go into client view, you can you can see that button there. You can also click on the name and you can see their detailed information. You click on it again, it goes away. And so that's pretty much it. And you also can add a client by this button as well. And I'm going to show you uh, this, this button and this button does the same thing. We just added in there for an extra option. Now, this is the calendar. Let's say you want to look at a calendar you want to you want to see what's going on on the 18th just click on the 18th it'll immediately bring the project it'll end up to expanded mode and show you exactly what is due on the 18th say the 30th brings that up very simple now this is how where we add users and clients and let's just add a client let's just add ourselves Oh, put in invite traffic. And we'll just say put in number. And I'll leave the address blank for now. So there's our new client we just created. That's the information it shows. Now, what I said as far as adding a user before you can add it to a client to a list, this is pretty much where you, where you add the user. I'm not going to do it right now, but you, you get the idea. You can put in, I'll show you, you can put in a name, there's your user. You can add it as an admin, which means he can he would have full access to everything that's on your account or general user 
which means he has only access to the um, projects you, you assign to. So if I created this, I'm going to cancel it out, then I would be able to add it to here. And then just type in the name. So that's the, the, that's one thing, that, that's probably the only thing you really need to know about Traffic Light as far as you need to add a user on the main panel before you can add it to a project. Other than that, you pretty much can figure it out by clicking around. This is a very easy program to use. And that is pretty much it. I don't think I've missed ever anything. Uh, I'll, let me show you actually up here. This is where basically when you sign up, you've you've probably gone through this where you can upload your photo. This is the account uh, section, company account information, user information. This is where you see, this is where you will uh, be able to see the list of users. So instead of viewing clients, instead of having in a, in a view mode like this as you, where you can see clients, you want to go up to accounts, you're going to select users, and then you can see the different users on your account. And I'm trying to make sure I didn't leave anything out. I think that's about it. Uh, we will be looking at other possible features in the next in this next week. We'll be launching this beta version within the next week. Um, we, we may we may be adding another feature to compress the view modes of um, of the different projects uh, even more. So uh, keep keep that keep that in mind as well. But uh, one one question we, we did get was well say if I have 30 projects I'm not going to want to scroll through all 30 of them. You can alleviate that by going through the client list and clicking on that button and you can show that you can kind of filter out what projects you want to look at. You also can do that from the overview menu. Say so what's happening in the last seven days. You can also can filter that out as well. Now that is the option we might be adding to as far as putting a button up here where it will you click on it and it gives you just kind of text links very very um, gives you a lot more to look at right up front. We'll be working on that and seeing um, seeing looking into that feature, but we definitely want people to use it. Please come down here to make uh, suggestions, feedback, comments, anything you, you, you uh, like or don't like about the program or have any suggestions. Uh, we definitely value your opinion and your feedback. It will only help to improve the, the uh, program. Thanks for listening, and I hope you get a chance to try Traffic Light, and um, we'll uh, post a video, I'm sure, soon. Thanks very much.